All right, before we solve any differential equations, uh, I just want to talk about the difference between a general solution and an actual solution. Uh, the general solution is just the most general form of a solution, and we don't need any initial conditions. So what we have here is these are the initial conditions, and this above it is the differential equation. And we've already looked at the solution of a differential equation, so I'll just write the general solution um, of this differential equation here without actually solving it with you guys. We'll be able to do that after our next video. So the general solution is y is equal to 1 half plus c e to the negative x squared. Okay, we can, we can circle this again. And let's call this the general solution. Okay, just like that. All right, and you'll notice that it has this c in here. This is an arbitrary constant, and so we can pick different numbers for this uh, constant, and it'll give us slightly different actual solutions. Now, the actual solution that we're after is the one that satisfies these initial conditions. So when we have a problem with a differential equation and initial conditions, we call it an initial value problem, often written just as IVP. So to solve the for the actual solution, which is a solution that uh, just satisfies this, like I said, the differential equation and the initial conditions, we just apply the initial conditions to the general solution. So here we have y is going to be equal to 3, and x is going to be equal to 0 for these given initial conditions. So if we just plug these into, into our general solution, well, y was 3, so we get 3 is equal to 1 half plus c e to the negative x is 0, so 0 squared, or this all just becomes 0, and e to the 0 becomes 1, so we get 3 minus 1 half is equal to c times 1, right, because e to the 0 is 1, and so we get c is equal to 5 halves, just like that. So now we know what c is, and we can just plug this actual value back into our general solution. So we get y is going to be equal to 1 half plus, like that, 5 halves e to the negative x squared. And we'll circle this one again. And this is the actual solution. Actual solution. Uh, and again, this is the actual solution for these specific uh, initial conditions. You know, we could have others, uh, but this is just sometimes you'll be given initial value problems like this, and this is how you solve them. You just literally find the general solution, plug in the initial conditions into that solution, and then you get the actual solution. All right. Um, so we'll get we'll get, we'll get more in depth on this stuff um, but that's just how you solve them um, now join me in the next video and we'll actually go over the method for solving a linear first order differential equation